Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today it's episode two of what you should be buying now. If you want to see like the kind of trends, clothing trends going into the spring summer season. Um, I know I've done a video already on like spring summer trends, but this is going to be more so looking at what you can buy from specific places to fit in with the trends. It's going to be kind of high end and high street pieces, like trend pieces and also different styles of clothing that are gonna be trending. Um, I think I have found a lot of high street versions of these trends, but these are some trends that I've just feels, I feel like are just gonna be big this season. So yeah, if you wanna see what you should be buying right now in terms of clothing, stay tuned. So I think what I'm gonna do is go through some of the things that I think are trends in terms of different like styles, and then I'll show you guys pieces you can buy from high end or high street stores so that you can fit in with those trends. I always think with trends it's really fun to play around with them but then at the same time you want to stay true to your style. If your style is exactly the trend go for it. If it's not go for it anyway play around with it but if you do not feel comfortable with certain trends you really don't have to go and buy into them. Wear what you're comfortable with and sometimes there's ways to kind of play into trends and bring little bits of those trends into your wardrobe. For example, mixing pink and red is very hot this season and I think this year. And doing it in a simple way of maybe like a really bold red pair of shoes and a pink lipstick are ways that you can kind of go into that trend without maybe splashing out of your wardrobe with something you don't already have or maybe without even buying something that you feel like you really won't like long term. So there's always ways to go around the trends. Again, you don't have to kind of buy into them or invest in them. And there are a lot of great high street options out there as well. So the first thing that I feel like is definitely coming up as a trend, and I didn't mention this in my last trends video, um, that's menswear for women. I am personally a very gender neutral person. I hate that there's men's clothes, women's clothes. In my eyes, the only difference is the men's clothes have longer sleeves and leg length because they're too long for me because I'm short. In my eyes, if you like men's clothes, if you like women's clothes, who really cares is a piece of clothing, you know? Um, so anyway, the fact that menswear is becoming a huge trend for women, I love. I love men's clothing. I prefer men's clothing over women's clothing. Shopping with my boyfriend and looking at men's clothes gets me like high. I just, I love men's clothes. It's something, I don't know, they just to me are cool. Like they suit my style and I think they're cool. It's that simple. Um, but in terms of menswear, this is kind of like going into like the oversized trend and also like suit wear for women. So a lot of things I've seen kind of in magazines lately is pictures of women either wearing a full suit, so blazer, trouser combo, but in like a bold colour. So it's not your typical kind of, you know, black suit. It will be like a really bold pink or a bold red or even like a baby blue. I've seen a baby blue kind of two-piece suit going around as well. Um, I'll try find it to show you guys and I'll insert pictures for you to see examples of this. I think that's really cool. I think it's very sexy for a woman to wear a two-piece suit and I kind of like the idea, like, I don't know guys, I can never decide if I'm a minimalist or a maximalist so I just say I'm both because I like the idea of a woman wearing a like two-piece suit to go like pick up her dry cleaning or something. You know when you're like overly dressed up for the occasion, I think that's very cool. Um, so I really like that and I also think that menswear is definitely tying into oversized things. So like boyfriend fit jeans, you know, I feel like skinny jeans are kind of out. Straight leg and loose fitting boyfriend fit jeans are definitely in. This ties in with the menswear and I think wearing things very oversized is tying in with menswear as well. So wearing a really oversized shirt with an oversized pair of jeans and then an oversized trench coat and then some maybe like Gucci loafers. I feel like everything kind of like hanging kind of gives that menswear look but it's also very cool it kind of goes with streetwear these days street style and it's very current i really like this trend i feel like i can see my style going this way going forward even though i'm quite curvy sometimes oversized things don't really work for me but if i can find the right things i think it could work okay the next trend is gingham and ruffles paired together if possible i feel like this is a huge trend there's this zara skirt which i've just seen constantly on instagram the past few weeks it's red gingham it's got frills at the end and it's a midi skirt length which i think is another trend i think having midi skirts is a huge trend and that kind of ties into another trend i'm going to talk about in a minute but yeah gingham and ruffles very popular this zara skirt i see it everywhere i'm going to try and find an alternative option for you guys if you are looking to get this skirt because i feel like i don't know this winter i saw about four people wearing the same coat as me um 
on several occasions, and this was a few different coats. I bought three coats this winter, and two of them I just kept seeing everywhere, and sometimes I was wearing them. And the first few times I was like, ha ha ha, nice coat. And then after it just kept happening, I was like, this is getting really annoying. So although this is a very cool skirt, I do see that. You don't wanna just walk past five people in the street in one go and everyone's wearing it. So I'm gonna try and find an alternative option for you guys. Fingers crossed I do, because I haven't found anything yet. But this skirt is very cool, just maybe necessarily you don't want to look at like everyone else. Something that pairs into both of these trends is mix mixing masculine clothes with feminine clothes. I saw a girl walking down the street in Holborn a couple weeks ago and she had a midi flowy skirt on with Gucci loafers and a black hoodie, like an oversized men's hoodie. I thought it looked so cool. The fact that she tied in something so casual, and this is another thing with mixing, I feel like it's a lot of mixing this season, like mixing masculine and feminine and also mixing dressed up with dressed down is really cool. I, I love this trend, definitely something I'm gonna be going into going forward. But yeah, a pair of loafers, like men's brogues or men's loafers with a midi flowy, maybe gingham frilly skirt and then a hoodie, that's like everything tied in together. You know, a few years ago, we might have thought that wouldn't work, but it's 2017, it definitely works. Another thing that goes into this mix and match kind of thing, I feel like patterns are very in, boldness is in, and I feel like because of the gingham trend, that's kind of like a pattern. Mixing like gingham with like a floral shirt or something like that, I think is very cool. So one of the trends I mentioned was kind of mixing that dressed up with dressed down. And I think a great way to do this apart from midi skirts is also to kind of look at things like tracksuit bottoms. I think tracksuit bottoms are really in right now. I kind of feel like the Kardashians have brought this back. Maybe I'm wrong on this one. But things like Adidas tracksuit bottoms where they've got the stripe down the line um, are really popular. And again, this is something you can pair with a shirt or just a t-shirt and make it really casual. And then you can even wear like a loafer with it. Or, you know, some people wear heels with tracksuit. Whatever you're up for, you can do. Um, I know Monkey have other tracksuit that are really cool. These are kind of more loose fitting and not flared. I mean, they're a little bit flared, but they're more just like straight leg, loose fit tracksuit bottoms. I feel like these are maybe more on the trouser side of a tracksuit bottom, but they look completely comfortable and they feel like tracksuit bottoms. They just look a bit smarter. I feel like a trend of like a tracksuit kind of trouser material with a stripe down the leg is really, really popular. And I think even though it's coming into summer, I think that's something that's gonna be popular. And again, it ties into that kind of dressed up, dressed down vibe. You can pair it with a shirt, you can wear a loaf with them. And I love these kind of trousers. I'm on the hunt for some. Alan, my boyfriend, actually just bought a pair from Zara and they're really cool. So I don't know, I think I'm gonna have to go and look at those as well because I like them and for me, comfort is always key. So as I said, pink is definitely still in. Mixing it with red is good. There's this dress ASOS satted pleated mini skirt with thigh split. See, this is very, very dressy, but again, you could pair it down with like, you know, a black hoodie if you wanted to and some loafers and then you've still got that pink pop. If you did want to go into that kind of relaxed, menzy, mix and match trend, if you wanted to go for the red and pink trend, wearing this with a red cropped t-shirt or a red t-shirt or even like a bright orange t-shirt, those two colours are going to clash so much and that is really on trend. I this Personally, this skirt isn't my style just because I'm not really into pink flowy skirts, but if any of you are, this could be the kind of piece that you can really edge up with the trends, as I said, with a bold t-shirt. But it's also the kind of piece that going long term into new seasons, you're going to have a statement piece that you can wear with heels, you can wear for weddings, you can wear for any kind of occasion. I actually think this would be a good purchase. As I said, it's not my style, but if you were looking to go for that pink on red trend or you did want a really, really bold pink midi skirt, this is a good option. Pink is definitely in and it's definitely here to stay. So remember when I was speaking about menswear and suits being a trend, something I forgot to mention is kind of like old granddad style blazers. I feel like I'm starting to see these a lot on Instagram and I really, really want one. I feel like these are kind of definitely in tune with menswear. They're kind of like have like a 60s vibe to them, which I love. And I know I always say things are cool, but it's just like the epitome and I go for. This just looks so cool. This Isabel Morant blazer is everything I want. It's got that double breasted kind of side to it, but it's kind of oversized. It also comes with a pair of matching shorts. So if you wanted to do, wait, is that shorts or a skirt? It also comes with a matching skirt. So if you did want to do the mix and match kind of thing, this gives you that menswear matching suit option, mixing it in with a feminine detail like a skirt, but you've got the oversized blazer. But then again, I feel like I might actually save this in my net a 
um, wish list because if this goes on sale I want it like I love this blazer um, I think this is really cool I think this paired with light denim dark denim as you can see she's got a black top with it that goes really well as well I like this a lot and yeah this is like an investment piece but still going on the trend but I kind of think you could wear this long term so I really like that I actually think Isabel Morant do amazing blazers um, and they probably do good suits too so if you are looking for a blazer whether it's like this or a different kind definitely check out Isabel Morant I feel like yeah her work is is really good and definitely if you want something a bit more cool and androgynous I think she does a lot of those things but she pairs it with feminine items really really well um, yeah okay I'm gonna call it a wrap there guys otherwise we're gonna be here forever but I hope this has given you some ideas of what I feel like the trends are coming up in terms of clothing um in my last trending video I shown I showed you loads of examples of accessories shoes bags that were trending if you want to see that i'll link it up here so just click the link up here and you can watch that um, but for this video i wanted to kind of maybe not show as many pieces and more so kind of explain through styling trends because i feel like it's all good and well me being like this is a nice skirt but knowing how to style it i feel like plays into that trend kind of area and yeah as i said i feel like a lot of things are mixed lately so mixing kind of being dressed up with dress down, mis mixing masculine and feminine, mixing prints, floral prints, skin pr prints, stripes, mixing them all together. Just be wild with it, have fun with it. But again, do what you're comfortable with and do what fits in with your style. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.